So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from a chilled out afternoon in a Chiang Mai temple. And today I just thought we could have a little chat again and yeah, just chat about it's the end of another year and the start of 2024. And yeah, I've just been thinking lately about what would I be doing if I was still at home now and how would things be if I didn't choose Thailand and I've done a vlog about this two or three years ago telling my story so we're just gonna go over it a bit again and talk about it because my outlook on things is totally different now compared to when I've done that video my outlook on Thailand my outlook on just general life everything's changed about me I was in a full relationship back home before I came here for for this stint for how long I've been here now. Just before Covid I arrived in Thailand again and before that I was in probably the biggest relationship I've ever been in back in England. I, I moved towns to be with my woman and I gave up my job in my hometown and moved to another town. I'd known my ex-partner for a long time and she was with somebody else before and it, it came to the point where she was single again and you know I was I was not with anybody and I was interested in her and then it found out she was interested in me so we started dating um, she would come down to my town and I would go to her town which is about an hour and a half apart so it wasn't too far but it was still a bit of a hassle um, taking taking a bus sometimes because I didn't have a car at the time and or she would drive down to see me and it was all good and after about a year um, I decided to move to her town um, Thailand is always in the back of my head it always has been and it's never left my head even when I was back home for a long time it, the plan was always to come back here but I just thought you know being in a relationship might might take traveling away from my thoughts and because really I did really want to um, settle down maybe and maybe forget about all this that's what I thought anyway at the time and she had two kids as well um, you know young young boys still in still in junior school so that that was a little bit difficult i i didn't find that easy at all um, i didn't know when to shout or if i was allowed to do something treading on eggshells when when you can't really be like that right if it if it was my own children i could probably do what i want you know i could i could raise my kids how i want and yeah i found that difficult and i was going to work every day probably in a bit of a slump um, not with the lady that I was with that was all cool just I wanted to come here again I, I've done a vlog on this a long time ago but are uh, my feelings still the same because in that vlog I talked about I made the right decision and I'm really happy here so I I looked back at that vlog the other day just for bit of research and yeah god i even look different in that vlog you know i've, I've looked more older now it's, it's crazy how how you see yourself age being a vlogger as well how you see yourself i've changed a lot put on a bit more weight gone a bit more grayer and i'm i'm different in front of the camera i think i'm more natural in front of the camera and back then it just looks like I look so much younger when it was only three years ago. I wasn't really in love. I was just trying to make, I was just trying to find a way out of um, not being a Jack the Lad anymore, not running off to Thailand. And I thought, right, if I really love this girl and if I stay with this girl, I can just forget about everything, settle down, go to work every day. And, but yeah, it didn't turn out like that. I just think, what what would my life be like now? Would I still be, like, I had a crappy sort of factory job at the time and it was horrible going into work every day. I know we've all got to do it, but I really didn't enjoy that job in the new town. Will I want to retire in Thailand? Will I just want to come in stint six months of a year, three months of a year? I don't know. These are things that I've 
Now, the closer I'm getting to being able to get that retirement visa, the more I'm thinking about it because, you know, I've got a few, I've got a couple years to think about it still. So there's still, it's something I can't do yet. I can't just go and get a retirement visa or I still have to play the waiting game, which is cool with me because I'm still, I'm still having fun and who wants to get older anyway? I don't want to be, I don't want to wish my life away and just wait for 50 to get to get a visa so I can stay in Thailand when when basically I'm staying here as it is already so I think what I probably need is that wake up call of going back to the UK for a little bit I've got a few friends here that have just done the same and we was chatting in the restaurant the other day and he said damn you know 12 12 days was enough back home he went home for 12 days and come back and I think yeah you come back fresh again and you come back realizing this is definitely where you want to be I know this is where I want to be as soon as I go anywhere again I will be one in Thailand um, I love being here I just need I probably need that wake-up call which this year I'm probably gonna do and that that will um, it makes you think clearer as well right if you're if you go maybe go home or go to some other places you you can make decisions a little bit easier as well yeah I don't want to wish my life away like I wish I was retired or something I'm still in my 40s I still I'm still having a good time still still enjoying life but and when you're here you're gonna need you can't just retire here at 50 if you haven't got if you haven't got some sort of pension or something to live on right it's, it's easy when people say I'll oh, retire in Thailand when you're 50 man you still you still got loads of work left to do back in the UK before you couldn't even dream of retiring at 50 a lot of people obviously it's a little bit easier in Thailand you don't you probably don't need so much money but um yeah would I be able to retire in Thailand at 50 uh you yeah, probably not man probably not I will probably have to um do some more grafting and being a digital nomad and things like that you can't really rely you can't rely on that living in thailand i don't think that that rug can be pulled at any time and of course if you've got if you've got a big business online or something but just something like us youtubers and some of our side hustles i mean you can't really build a foundation on on that can you and coming back to my relationship back home that's what the vlog was meant to be about that's what it started off about and me choosing Thailand and yeah I, I definitely I'm definitely happy here this is the place where I want to be but what I'm trying to say is what I've said on other vlogs it's, it's not all a bed of roses you there is things you worry about it's not just come to Thailand and oh forget about everything else everything's okay it's not the older you get when you're younger you probably do think like that but I'm still relatively young, right? I'm middle age, but I'm at that age now where you got to think about a few things. Normally, I don't think about nothing. I just go with the flow and live every day as it comes. But yeah, the older I've got, the, like I said, the more aches and pains I'm getting. And, you know, in the gym, you're getting a bit more sore in the gym. When you're out and about, you can't move so much. You look in the mirror and... You're not looking so old, um, young as you once did. That's just life, right? But when you're in a foreign land as well, you you need to think about that. So I think if I do retire here, which I probably will, I would need everything in order properly. That That is 100%. Because I always do that now, being here with my license and things like that. That's just how I am. I would need... 100% proper health and proper proper living here it wouldn't have, it, it couldn't be like cutting corners it would have to be properly everything sorted so the moral of this vlog is I don't know it's just me having a waffle what's on my mind and I like reading the comments from you guys it, that's what I enjoy the most probably about vlogging just just seeing everybody else's opinions and what other people do i know on the cost of living uh, vlog i've done 
they're always you get split people and um, what I will say about cost of living vlogs is you can't you can't really make a how much it's all bollocks how much to live in Thailand nobody knows how much you need to live in Thailand that's why I labeled my vlog what I spend in Thailand it's just all crap people how how much you need everybody's a different personality everybody's you can you can do a vlog of course like I did and say what you spend and I suppose it helps people of course it does because them vlogs always do well anyway I'm gonna stop waffling because this vlog's going in all angles but hopefully it will make sense when I put it together just like thinking about the future and I know a lot of you think the same as well some of you don't even want to live here some of you just want to come here on breaks and live your life at home and it's great reading about that because I've always said that is the best way to do it yeah I'm gonna stop waffling guys we will make a vlog out of this somehow and put it all together I'm just out and about oh, I'm gonna shut up hope you're all safe and sound as always take it easy man take it easy